Hello everyone and welcome back to Shenmue 2. Wolves and bears. Rabbits and foxes and raccoons. Foxes and raccoons. What kind of animals were there where you grew up? Okay. Um fox. I heard that in the past. There used to be foxes near my house. Really? Yeah. And there's a shrine dedicated to the fox. Shrine. It's called the Inari Shrine, and the fox is worshipped as a god. The fox is a god. I have an amulet from the shrine. What is an amulet? You wear it, and it'll protect you from illness and other bad things. It sounds like the gate guardian at my house in the village. Gate guardian? It's we already learned about that, god, didn't we? And it's placed on the entrance of a house. Well, maybe it not. protects those inside from devils and evil spirits. Really? It sounds similar to the amulet. Shenfei. Anything else to say, dear? Yes. The weather. Do you think it'll rain again? It won't rain for a while. The clouds are far, and the wind is dry. It rained pretty hard last night. The river was almost overflowing. Yes, there's a lot of rain in Guilin. That's how such a deep forest was created. I see. Not only rain, but there are deep fogs too. There's fog too? The rain does not only flow into the river. The rain seeps into the forest trees and the earth. Into the forest? Yes. And in the mornings and evenings, the fog covers the mountains. The fog is so thick that you couldn't see your hands stretched out in front of you. Oh. You can't see your hands? That thick? The mountains of Guilin are most beautiful when the morning fog embraces them. Is that so? I'd like to see that. If you stay in the village for a while, you'll be able to see it. For a while. Oh, we're on the move. Come on. Please be there now. Yes. It won't take long now. Let's move on. Cool. By the way, sorry that the audio was a bit weird last week. I hope it's a bit better today. And I've not got Stephen here. Probably I should have told Stephen not to come. Wait, we're there! We've actually made it, I think. Yo, this is her house? There. I see. Shenfa, is Bailu Village near now? We have to go a little further to reach the place where the villagers live. Really? But my house is right there. It's on that oh, small cool. hill. Please come in for a while. But I need to go to Bailu Village. You saved my life. I want to thank you. Um... Please rest for a bit. Please? Oh, alright. Good. Follow me. We'll see my house soon. Uh, yeah, I probably shouldn't have let Stephen come in when I was recording because it made it all a bit weird. But hopefully, it wasn't too annoying. Shenfa. Follow me. My house is right ahead, just a bit further. I see. Okay, I'll see you there in a sec. Well, I mean, it's literally right there, but still, we'll skip the little walking up. Oh, never mind. We went straight into a cutscene. I'm so glad we're finally here. Even if we're not technically really here, we're at this weird place, but close enough. Here. Or her house. <laughs> well, that's pretty. What's this tree? Shenmue. Huh? <gasps> A tree called Shenmue. Shen Title drop. Every year, at this time of the season, its flowers bloom. Really? This tree holds a special meaning for me. The Shinmu tree has its flowers in bloom again this year.
Shenfa, a beautiful flower. I know. We will name our child Shenfa. Shenfa, that is wonderful. The Shenmu tree shall protect her. If you find out what Shenmu means, after well, a whole two games. The flower of the Shenmu tree is called Shenfa. That's. Yes, that's my name. Two games are made out of that tree. <laughs> and nearly a third. I need to not sing along with the music because it's out of time with what you're hearing, I forgot. There was a tree at home that bloomed during the springtime. At your house? They were called cherry blossoms. Their petals were pale pink. Cherry blossom. Does that tree hold a special meaning for you too? Yes. My name is Cherry Blossom. <laughs> Let's go. It's this way. Yeah, I think I can figure out which way your house is, mate. It's right next to us. Stop singing, Samuel. Look at her go! What's the matter, Shenfa? When I was a child, I used to play on that swing. Every year when the Shenmu's flowers bloom. Is this house located in Bailu village? Yes. We are at the edge of the village. Really? <laughs> really? Oh, we're going to play some weird game. Um, Shenmu tree. That tree. The Shenmu tree. Yeah, it's a really big tree. Yes, it's a very old tree too. The tree was already that tall when my grandfather was a child. I see. God. The tree has been alive for thousands of years. Thousands of years. Shenmu. What's the matter, Nyo? Maybe it's only my imagination. Yes? But I think I feel something. You feel something? The tree isn't just old and big. I don't know how to say this. It seems like it has a spirit. Really? Do you feel that way too? Well, yeah. I felt the same way ever since I was small. You too? When I was a child, I used to play under the tree. And I felt like I was being held by the Shinmu tree. Although I was alone, I didn't feel lonely at all. I think I understand. Yes. It feels like... 
even as we sit here, that tree is watching and protecting us. It seems like I've known that tree from a long time ago. It's a strange <laughs> feeling. Shenfa, you said you were living with your father. Yes. I only have a father. I don't have a mother. What about you? When I was really small, my mother was already... And your father? My father is gone now. I'm sorry. I... It's all right. What's your father like? He's a stubborn but warm-hearted man. Stubborn but warm-hearted. Is that like your dad? Dio, while you're still sleeping in bed, farmers are working hard in the fields, carefully picking carrots one by one. So how can you waste them like that? I'll eat them. God, he had more emotion as a child. like to tell you. Hmm. I was told my real father had died. Died? Yes, together with my mother. Really? But I don't remember anything about my real parents. I don't even know how they died. Your present father? He took my parents' place and raised me as if I were his real child. Of course I accept him as my real father. He's my only family now. I see. But when I was small, I used to give him a difficult time. Hmm? I threw tantrums. I told him that I wanted a mother. Brothers and sisters, too. Brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Um... <gasps> I don't have any brothers or sisters. Fukusan? But there was this person called Fukusan. We used to practice with each other. Practice? We were learning martial arts from my father. He was strict to both of us. We were always sweaty from practice. We used to fight a lot too, <laughs> just like real brothers. Really? He helped me in many ways so that I could go to Hong Kong. You're lucky. Hmm. I envy you for having a person like that close to you. Although we weren't real brothers, he's a part of my family and he's important to me. Yes. Oh, she disappeared. It will be dark soon. You should stay for the night. Is that all right? Yes. I want to help you in return for saving me. I'm going to get dinner ready. Please wait. Why don't you rest while I make dinner? Yes. Thank you. Run for it, Ryu. Get out of here while you still have the chance. I'm sure we could run for buy a new village from here and get there before she caught us. The meal should be ready soon. I should go to the kitchen. Okay, how do we get to the kitchen? I'm guessing it's over there. Great. Shenfa. What's wrong, Yo? Uh, I smell something good. I'm preparing a big feast, so can you wait a while? Uh, let's have a save very quickly. Just in case we get stuck. Anyway, let's wait then. Yo, have a seat. Thanks.
This was the best I could do. Looks really good. Help yourself to second. And for dessert, rips off that orange shawl. Rabbit. Huh? I set a trap in the mountain. Oh, really? Tasty, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. yourself at home. You can use any space in this house. Thank you. Father has a small collection of things. Take a look, if you like. Yeah, I will. One odd thing to suggest. Where's this small collection of things? Do we think in here probably? This is clearly someone's room. Oh, it's both their rooms. Okay. Maybe this stuff here is a small collection of things. Well, I'll go for a drawers. What kind of house is this? Oh, I appear to be stuck. Anyway, I'm going to go until I find something we can actually interact with. Oh! This is... Is her dad going to be Dai Li? Not Dai Li, what's his name? What's wrong? Nan Di, that's his name, I'm an idiot. It's the same. What is this drawing? My father told me this has been in our family since long, long ago. But he wouldn't tell me anything else about it. Yo, what is this mirror? I heard that it was given to my father. To your father? This phantom riverstone can only be found in Bailu village. Phantom Riverstone? How did this mirror get to Japan? I don't know. My father might know something. Where is your father now? He's at the stone pit, gathering Phantom Riverstone. Where's the stone pit? Over on the other side of the mountain. Oh, he said God. he was going to finish something. It's been days since he left for the stone pit. Can you take me there? I'm going to bring him food tomorrow morning. Come with me. All right. The next day. Oh, I, d I doubt he is Landy. So it really makes a lot of sense. I surely he had to be a bit, be away from the village more often than it sounds like. He's chopping some food. Anyway, we're nearly out of time for today. And I don't want to get stuck in a big long bit. So we're going to call that the end of today's episode. Uh... Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, then feel free to like and you can subscribe in the top left right now. Top right to go to the last episode. Bottom right to go to the next episode when it airs. And bottom left to go to the playlist. Come back next time when we'll go visit her dad. And find out about Phantom River Glass or whatever it was. Bye bye.